Hello everyone, I am Alicia Reverby and I am Chef de Beauté at Elite Organics and Skin Nutritionist and we're here in my salon in Venice Beach, Get Waxed and we are talking today about how to cleanse your skin with honey. Uh, honey is a core ingredient of our line and one of our most beloved skin foods and so many people ask me all the time, how do you cleanse with honey? Isn't it sticky? Isn't it gooey? Does it stick to your face? How do you rinse it off? So because we love it so much and we encourage and want people to use honey, I wanted to create a video to show you how simple it is um, to use honey on your face. So uh, just a little bit about why we love honey so much um, and why it's such an essential food for your skin. Honey contains high amounts of gluconic acid. And what gluconic acid will do is it will break down all of that glue that holds your dead skin cells together um, in the follicle, on the surface. So it is a very uh, mild way to give your skin a very deep cleanse. Um, as, as opposed to using, you know, harsh acids and, you know, peels and so forth. Honey will do the job in a very gentle and effective manner. Honey is loaded with... Um, minerals and vitamins um, that nourish your skin topically so consistent use you are building a gorgeous surface immunity of the skin as well honey is a humectant so honey will draw moisture to the skin so you will notice when you do use honey consistently consistently the tone of your skin is supple and moist and just very happy very protected as well, honey is antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. And if you suffer from acne, honey is probably going to be your best friend. Um, it will calm your skin. It will soothe your skin. It will help because of that gluconic acid to break up all those dead skin cells and really give you the proper deep cleanse that you need. Um, if you're suffering from acne, what you know and what you should know is that it is excess um, excess uh, uh, skin cells, you're producing more skin cells than the average person. You're producing an average of five skin cells where the average person is producing one per day. So you have a lot of buildup and then combine that with oil and then lastly bacteria, that's where that comedone is going to form. So honey will be your best friend. So we have some honey here. Um, this is um, a gorgeous honey from one of my local beekeepers. And this one has a gorgeous, nice uh, texture to it. So it does give that feeling of exfoliating, which some people like. I do think and believe that if you have an uh, eczema or acne or just sensitized red inflamed skin, you want to use a smooth honey, something that's very creamy. You don't want something aggressive on your skin. It's basically like pouring salt on the wound. So we have honey here. And then with a Leak Organics line, we have all of our sweet products, and this is one of our favorites. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from here, if I can open the jar. Um, this is our sweet rose hips, and this has hibiscus, borage, as well as, of course, the rose hips and rose hips oil. So this is loaded with omegas, omega-6, omega-3s. Um, it's very regenerative with that hibiscus and the rose hips. Um, a lot of antioxidants are happening. Um, fighting free radicals, and again, all of those benefits of your honey. So our sweet line is something really, really gorgeous that um, you can always use as well. It's our herb honey cleansers and masks. So let's cleanse with some honey. So the first thing that you want to do, um, actually we'll use some of the, the sweet rose hips because the color is really pretty and why not? Um, we're going to scoop out just a little bit of the rose hips. Now, if you were to just use dry hands and dry face, yes, the honey would feel really sticky and gooey. So it's really important, and this is a good size amount, um, especially if you also want to do your neck um, and do a little bit on your hands while you're at it. You could do a little bit on your forearms, which is really nice, but you want a little bit of moisture just to kind of break up a little bit of that honey. So the color of this is that red because of the hibiscus and all of the yummy herbs that are in it. So basically, you know, you're going to feel, you're going to get to know the texture, and you're going to sense when it's right for you. You can do a little bit on your hands, and then you're just going to cleanse as you normally would. Again, this one has a little bit of that texture. If you do suffer from a red inflamed skin, you want a smooth honey, and you don't want to use a heavy hand. I tend to use a heavy hand on my skin, but I have like a healthy surface and a strong surface immunity, so for me, 
you know, I like to kind of go at it a little bit with my skin. I do not recommend that for most people because most people do have a sensitive skin. So for example, where I'm kind of going like this, you might want to just be really, really gentle with a really light hand. Definitely get around here, all these little crevices. This is your T-zone area, so this is the area of your face that produces more oil than, say, cheeks and the sides of your jaw, this whole area. So when you're using honey, definitely kind of get, make sure you're really getting in those areas as well. Don't forget your forehead. Now, a couple of things that you can do. So if you want to mask with the honey, you can just leave this on as is right now. You can rinse your hands, you can go about your business, leave the honey on for a good 20 minutes, have a really great mask, or if you're just cleansing, which we're doing now, you're going to rinse your honey off. So that is your process. And now we're just going to rinse off. And remember that the water is your friend. People don't take a lot of time to rinse and so many people, their skin is just so dehydrated. And it's important to not only drink a lot of water, but it's also your skin is an external organ. So why not hydrate your skin topically? So this water that you're using to rinse your face, take the time. Let's get you off your forehead. And always like a nice warm water. You don't want very hot water, even if you do have healthy skin like mine, like hot, hot, hot all the time. It's unnecessary because most of us take in a really nice hot shower. Most of us like a hot shower, so we're already incorporating that daily. So if you're washing your face in the evening, just use a nice warm water. If you have a red inflamed skin, definitely a cool, tepid, warm water, okay? So your honey is off, we rinsed it off. Now one thing when you're drying your face, I leave that water on my skin. I never put a towel and rub it. You might want to pat along here because you don't want water dripping down your face. But what I love to do is now take that water and spread it on my skin. Again, we're hydrating topically. There is nothing wrong with that water. Why take something like this and wipe all of that goodness off your face? And especially if you are using something like the Sweet Rose Hips, it has all those gorgeous oils that are gonna continue to nourish your skin and build that surface immunity. So voila, there you have it. Very simple, very easy masking and cleansing with honey. Hope to see you soon. Have a great day.